Hello, all my friends that are in the Twin Flame Soulmate Journey right now. This reading is going to be for January 4th through January 11th, um, 2018. And this is for those who are in separation from their Divine Masculine. And their Divine Masculine, or Divine Feminine, I guess it could be, um, is in a karmic relationship. So this um, is kind of a view of where your Divine Masculine is, where he is in ending his karmic relationship. Um, kind of gives you a little bit of a view of what what's going on and what you're not let in on. So um, with that, we'll get started. I'm going to use the Master Deck of Tro or the Divine Masculine. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot for the karmic partner of the Divine Masculine. And then I will clarify anything with the vice versa deck. And then at the end of their karmic lessons, I will be using the Chakra Oracle cards. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. So the first card I'm going to pull is um, I'm going to pull one card for his position in their connection. So Spirit Angels, can you give me one card to sum up the Divine Masculine's position? Okay, I got two here, so that's okay. Um, all right. And Spirit Angels, can I get one card for the Karmic Partners position in their connection? What is her position in a relationship? Being involved with the Divine Masculine. Oops, that one wanted to fall out. Okay. Okay, so his position is, he is, let me move this, I'm sorry. He is getting tired of this constant imbalance. Um, even in the reverse, it's the, it's the ups and downs, the constant flow. Um, he's starting to see the, he's starting to gain clarity on why this relationship that he's in causes him such imbalance. And he's starting to gain clarity in the connection with you on how that brought him the opposite. So, um, the divine masculine is coming to realize he is coming into clarity what what this connection with the two of you is or was and if you have not met your divine masculine yet he is coming into clarity that there's more to life than this this he cannot live with this kind of relationship the constant ups and downs and imbalance of life for the rest of his life with this karmic partner now, his karmic partner has the chariot in reverse, so she is refusing to move on. Um, being single, she ain't going nowhere right now. <laughs> is her thought process in all this? Um, oops, I dropped that one. Spirit and angels, what is the divine masculine's feelings in regards to his karmic partner? What are the Divine Masculine's feelings in regards to his karmic partner? Ooh, okay. And what is the karmic partner's feelings in regards to the Divine Masculine? So the bottom of her deck is the four of wands. This is what she is hoping for. Um, and you'll kind of laugh when you see the bottom of the deck because the divine masculine is the fool in reverse. So 
she's wanting the happily ever after, and he's saying, nah, -uh. I, he's not going to give her that. He's not going to give her that, uh, uh, type of relationship, that new beginning. Um, yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> so the divine masculine's feelings in, uh, his current situation with his karmic partner is he needs to take the time to, um, he needs to take the time just to reflect. He's, he's just kind of, he's, well, he's out of balance. Um, he needs his divine feminine to start um, doing the healing for him since he is unsure. He's not even, a, some of them aren't even aware of what a twin flame is. So as the divine feminine's um, role in this relationship is she will start healing him by healing herself. When she heals herself, she will heal him. So, um, he needs to, he's refusing to slow down long enough to think about it right now, I think, because, or not, I think that's what Spirit's saying, because he doesn't want to think about it because he's not happy there. He's feeling trapped. He feels like he has nowhere else to go. He don't know what to do. For some reason, he feels he can't leave her right now. And he's, his wishes aren't coming true. You know, his wishes aren't coming true because this isn't where he's meant to be. He knows this. He just doesn't know how to get out of it right now. Her feelings on the matter, however, so she has the page of cups and the page of wands. So, Those, however, did come out in the reverse. So she, hold on just a second, my messages are flying in. Um, she knows that the passion has died out. She knows that there is not the emotion that was there in the beginning. She knows that her partner does not feel as passionate or in love with her as she had originally thought. And she is considering moving on. Um, but these six swords are stopping her. She is emotionally invested in this and she does have deep feelings. Um, but she is concerned that there is a third party and she's, yeah, she's coming up across the decision. She's confused. Um, she's going to leave it up to the universe as of right now, but there is a lot of confusion. She's feeling like um, the divine masculine is hiding things from her. And I just got a message from Spirit saying that for a group of you, you are still sleeping with your divine masculine or seeing them sneaking around. That is why he is tired, unrested. He's emotionally exhausted because he's trying to juggle. And she's starting to wonder what's up. That's for a small group of you. Um, and then there's that first group with um, that has that you guys haven't even met yet. But the, this message is for those of you who who have met already. Yeah. He's, she's going to move on. She eventually is going to get tired of these mind games. Yeah. The ace of cups, she's going to move on because in the eight of cups, the two cups that are missing are the two people, like the two of cups. So, like the divine masculine has a cup, the divine feminine has a cup, and then there's the eight of cups. And the eight of cups, you're going in search for it. So she's going to go look for her own um, true love um, because she knows he's juggling. She knows. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll use a vice versa deck. Spirit, oops. Spirit and angels. What, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> what do you see in the next week as far as this relationship goes? With the Divine Masculine and his karmic partner, what do you see for their future outlook as a couple together? And what karmic lessons do they need to learn before they will separate? What karmic lessons do they need to know? And what outlook do you see for this week? Okay. So... For um, a group of the Divine Masculine out there, we got the moon in reverse, or the backside of the moon, the backside of the world, and the death card. So, secrets are going to be exposed this week. I have... I have a couple different messages coming in for the group of you that are still kind of sneaking around. Um, that's coming out. The world, the cycle is not completing because the twin flame journey was not intended to hurt people. Um, so he needs to end this the right way. The Divine Masculine needs to end this the right way before, before he can, um, before he can allow that world, that cycle to end. I'm going to go ahead and clarify with a different deck. Um, I'm going to use the rate of weight. Um, okay, let's see here. Spirit and Angels. Can you give me a clarifying card to depict what these three cards mean for the Divine Masculine and his karmic partner? Oops. One more for the world card, please. There we go. Okay. So the bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles. So the Divine Masculine could be um, could be in financial struggle right now, or um, he's gonna he's either going to leave someone out in the cold, or he's gonna be left out in the cold. But we'll see what is said here. So the moon in reverse um, is brought in by the, or is clarified by the knight of cups in reverse and the knight of pentacles. So really what this moon card is saying in the, on the backside is that what you offered is not what you gave. It was almost like deceit, like, um, for a group of you, you are making your karmic partner think that you're offering them something, something tangible, something st stable, when really you have no emotion, you have no love left for them. So you're deceiving your karmic partner, Divine Masculine, by offering them something that you're not willing to give them. So they're thinking that things are hunky-dory and they're not. Um... The world, the backside of the world card is clarified by strength. So this is your twin flame, your soulmate that you are, that is the extra person, the third party. So and that's why spirit said the twin flame journey isn't here to hurt anybody because this is your twin flame, divine masculine that you are having an affair with. But you need to end things the right way. Um, yeah. Okay. 
So then, okay, Spirit is saying for a group of you, um, Divine Masculine, like, I'm getting that you didn't go looking for this affair. Neither one of you did. The two people that are involved with the Divine Masculine would be the Divine Feminine. Um, neither one of you were looking for a relationship when you found this. Um, it just hits you out of the blue. So just have the strength to finish what you need to finish, to learn your karmic lessons so you can let the cycle end and, and then um, be with your twin. Uh, the death card is here though. So I do see things ending this week again. Um, I, I know in the Virgo, the Taurus, uh, Sagittarius, Pisces, I think there were six out of the, at least six that had the death card in it of relationships ending this week. So I think a lot of karmic partnerships are going to be coming to a close, but the death card is signifying the, the, the third parties. And the cheating, the sneaking off, this has to stop. This is going to end this week because Spirit is saying that it's coming to an end. And the karmic partner might be the one that ends up leaving the Divine Masculine um, just by what her cards were. But... I'm just getting that off what cards I do. So either way, uh, the death card is this week. The moon, the backside of the moon. I hate, I hate seeing that. It's such a pretty card, but it means lies to see. Um, and then the world card. So it's all right there. Um, if you're cross watching for divine feminine, or if you're the divine feminine, you're divine masculine, uh, if you are in this next wave of twin flame unions, you will be leaving this karmic partner this week. So their karmic lessons that they still need to learn are okay. So. Okay, and these are um, the ch Chakra Oracle cards. I thought I seen one flipped up in there. Okay, so. Okay, so these are for the karmic. Okay, so the Divine Masculine um, has to learn the karmic lesson of rejection. And also the acceptance of abundance or lack of. And the karmic partner is prayer and forgiveness. So these are the lessons that they are learning this week um, for you divine feminine that are um, doing healing work for your divine masculine. I will give you the um, meditations for those. And I will go ahead and do that in a separate video. So for those of you who um, are just watching to watch, um, I won't keep you guys any longer. So uh, big movement in the Divine Masculine side of things this week. Um, things are ending with his karmic partner. Karmic lessons are being learned and tied up. And um, for those of you who are still kind of involved with your twin, um, just... Uh, remember to keep, you know, um, dignity, grace, and respect for that karmic partner. Um, I'm not condoning cheating by any means, but um, I also know in the twin flame journey that it is it is very very hard. So um, just keep praying, and um, your divine masculine is coming soon. So to a committed relationship within the twin flame union. So. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this spread and I will see you next time.